All right. Um, welcome, everyone, to the Code of Bears Lunch and Learn on Receipt Entry today. Uh, I'm Chris Collado, and I'll be presenting. Um, everybody is muted so that there's uh, less background noise. Um, if you have any questions, type them into the chat, and I will try to answer those at the end of the presentation. Uh, this is being recorded and will be put on the YouTube channel, on the Code of Bears YouTube channel. Uh, if you wish to get notifications when those are available, you can email sales at codabears.com and get added to the group. Now, let us begin. Let me share my screen there. Okay, uh, these lunch and learns lately have really been just a uh, kind of an overview of the new kinetic screens. So that's that's what this is going to be as well uh, for receipt entry. Um, you know, this is the the screen as you when you first uh, open the screen. Um, here's some existing packing slips that still have. Uh, Still need attention, and uh, we're going to start a new uh, packing slip or a new receipt. We are going to start a new receipt. Um, I have my let's see, forty two sixty six. And I'm off to a great start. Hold on. Stand by. Not sure why this is. All right, good old test environments. Let me just try to reopen that. There we go. Uh, what was that? 4266. So this is the details uh, screen of the receipt entry, uh, of receipt entry. Uh, you have the tree on the side as usual, your lines, your details. Um, first thing you need to do is add your PO number and packing slip number, which I'll just use the same number. And then uh, I'm going to get all the lines. So you click mass receipts. I have two lines on here. Uh, I'm going to select all. At this point, you could select one or the other if you if you only got a partial, uh, you know, PO with partial uh, one part of the order. Uh, I'm going to do both. Uh, I'm going to get all quantities. So this gets your quantities from the PO. Uh, if you were getting a partial, you could change it here. If you only received 500 of, you know, one line or you know a part of one line, you can enter the amount that you received. But I'm just going to do uh, uh, full receipt, uh, receive all, and then set to locations, which will set your part locations to where they they should be going, and then process. And uh, that's pretty much it at this point. One thing I meant to do was to show you the before and after on the parts. Um, but uh, at this point, everything is uh, has been received then. Um, and you have your, you know, you can look at the line details. Um, 
and you know make any of the adjustments you needed need to make if this was a partial you could you could change it here uh, you can add your taxes if there's special taxes or other costs uh, it's pretty straightforward there's not a lot of extra um, on this on receipt entry um, and you have your you know both of your lines here Back to details. Let's see, you have both both of your lines. Uh, it's fairly similar to, to how it used to be. It's just this new interface, and uh, something else that's new uh, with a lot of these screens, like receipt entry and order entry, is the tracker is on the same form. So this activity button is actually the receipt and receipt tracker, and it's similar on order entry there's an activity and it's order that's the order tracker so it's kind of all in one now um, and then I wanted to show uh, one more uh, example uh, that is 4267 This had a uh, required an inspection. So everything is the same pretty much, except I forgot again, but if we go to parts, uh, oh, this is the part actually, I believe. So we have, uh, yeah, EFG1. So currently there are none in inventory, uh, but they, I don't know why this is, I don't know if this is a bug or not, but they don't actually show up in the inspection area. However, once we go to inspection processing, and we, not have a refresh yeah uh, this is where you would go to uh, release them or not depending on the results of the inspection I guess and then they should show up in So now we have 10 in, on hand. So that's uh, really the basics of receipt entry. Uh, like I said, there's there's not a whole lot to receipt entry compared to purchase order entry. Um, uh, you have all of your options on the left here in the tree and you have, a, uh, and it's pretty much the same as it was uh, in the classic view. Uh, I don't know, does anybody do we have any questions here? I don't see any questions. Are there any questions? I um, don't think there's really any else, anything else to show. Don't see any questions yet. Um, all right, well, I guess that is it then for today. Thanks for attending everybody. And this will be up on the website. I don't know what the schedule is, but shortly. Um, and then uh, hopefully we'll see you next week. Thank you everybody.